Good evening everyone. Hello again. This is Mohammed Al Mawali as usual from Hungary. In this video, I will be talking about a comparison which is related to something that I have already posted on the Facebook page in the last week. It's a comparison between the concentrated force in a model and a distributed force, regardless linear or surface distributed load. I will take an example from a part of a simple project I recently submitted. The thing is, we have such a hood in a kitchen. This is a hanged system. We know here that we have a board with some materials in inside and the weight, the total weight of this board is around 500 to 600 kilograms. And it is hanged by these roads, the purple colored, to this steel frame, the black one. The task in here was to make sure that these steel sections in this black frame are reliable and usable and safe. So in this case, the idea in here or the types of engineers will be different. Some of them will make this model accurately. Some of them will make, for example, only this level, only this uh, frame with the secondary and main beams. And then they might verify the other vertical elements. So we have vertical elements, we have inclined elements, we have horizontal elements. I am actually one of those who will make the very accurate model. <clears throat> And in here, I will make and explain the two differences between of that, because technically, let's see what is the, the model. The model is consisted of a main beam here and a main beam here. And then I will call this one also a main beam and this one also a main beam. So we have a main parameter frame that is carried by these inclined elements and the vertical elements. And then in between, these main beams, there are these secondary beams. So technically, he, here we have this secondary beam, which is carrying this secondary beam also and this secondary beam. And then here the same, and then here the same, and then here the same. So from an engineering sense, which beam should be in the most dangerous situation? They are for sure, for sure, these main two long beams. This is out of engineering sense, and it is very, very, very connected to how would the system be constructed what is welded to what? This is my favorite phrase of, of uh, um, saying that what is carrying what? What is carried by what? Now, I created two models for that in Autodesk Robot. One of them, I calculated the concentrated forces accurately according to the total weight of this board and assigned them in the correct positions of these roads. The other model, I just simply assigned a surface loading in here with the total weight of the board that we are going to uh, assign as a load. And I will see with you what will be the differences. Let's go first to this model with the distributed load. The numbers we can see here do mean something, which we will see now. First of all, we can see the applied loads that, okay, it's a distributed load. It's a surface distributed load on this cladding, the gray one. And then, <clears throat> if I would like to see some things of that, I might go to results, diagram for bars, and results, maps on bars. I will turn off the design ratio, so I will turn off these numbers, and then I would like to see the bending moments value. Apply. Turn off the applied loads, and then take the ultimate combination. We can see that the maximum bending moment value is in here for a secondary beam. So what we were thinking or expecting for these two main beams is not okay, is not correct. And then we can check what is called the design ratio of the element, which is the most dangerous element. It's according to this scale. So technically, this element is verified by the ratio 0 0.21. And if we went to steel design, steel aluminum design, and asked robot to check out all the elements for us. Make the sort by this ratio. We can see that this element, the worst element, the worst element is element number 13. And if we would like to see element number 13, there it is. It's a secondary beam. Out of my engineering sense of the engineering side, this is not so logical. Well, let's go and see the concentrated forces model. 
we have exactly the same total weight but applied concentrately in according to the co the, the anchor roads <coughs> positions and locations with the correct and accurate values of loads let me turn them off and go to results diagram for bars and see the bending moment from the ULS now we can see that the maximum bending moment value is for a main beam in here as I was expecting and if we went also here for maps on bars and asked for a design ratio for the elements with an automatic scale with 10 colors division and maximum 0.2 go to parameters and text and apply we can see that these two parts are the worst and technically this is correct logically the secondary beams is 0.04 ratio verified and this is the main beam which is 0.17 we can check it also in steel design steel aluminium design and again check all the elements make the sort by the ratio and then the simple bar number six if we want to see simple bar simple bar number six I will turn off everything of the of the site and then simple bar number six there is it. it's a main beam this is correct logically and then in here this element was with ratio 0 0.17 while in the other model it was 0 0.07 to me of course I would 100% that say that this model is wrong and it's not accurate at all and it does not represent the uh, accurate realistic situation that we have here so my rule is always in the finite element modeling or the usage of the softwares because the software does not understand what it's doing you should understand what are you seeing so you have to make your models as close as possible to the real life and to how will they be constructed for example if here <coughs> we knew that this element would be extended and then these two elements will be welded on it then I have to model it that way it's very very important to focus to, on that and even to try to represent that in your model as close and as accurate as in the real life and as the construction I hope this was a good video for all of you thank you so much